I'll be demonstrating how to create a simple gear axle assembly. First select a plane before sketching. You can use various geometry options at the top. Here choose a circle. Uh, the origin will be at the center of the plane. Create a second circle. Here we can edit the diameter of the circle by control right clicking. You can create an offset by the offset option at the top. Dimension and parameters will automatically pop up. You can choose a start position for a line by using the auto information option on the right. Typing in a value for a line that is at an angle before connecting it to an endpoint will give it a angle value. Use the info option on the right toolbar to connect it to an endpoint on the circle. Here you can join uh, several lines and parts of the circle to create a continuous profile using the option called Join Extend. Here you can create variables. Uh, Define set values which you can edit. Now that you have created some variables, you can define the previous values as these variables. This will come in useful later when we create a variable table for uh, various dimensions of gear. Here, even if you delete the circles, its dimensions 
will still stay. You can select the group by control right clicking. You can use the mirror option by selecting the group and selecting the axis. You can extrude the feature using the extrude feature on the left by first selecting the sketch. You can choose the values uh, for two directions. Here we only use one direction. And I set it to the variable t, which we can adjust later. We can use the circular pattern option to create the full gear. You need to select the feature body first and then the rotation axis. Next we need to cut an axle hole in the center of the gear. So we select the plane on the gear and sketch a circle. And we can use the extrude option and change the option at the top from boss to cut next we will create a variable table to adjust the various parameters first open a notepad and input the values in a table format separated by commas. Save as a .csv file. You can link the notepad file uh, to your part using uh, variable defined table and choose the path where you save the file. You can associate a question with the table so you know what you're changing. Move the table to the top of the command list. You can press Control shift p in order to activate the table that we created earlier uh, and set various preset dimensions for the gear. You can define the types of mate for each part prior to putting it into assembly. You can choose the type and have to identify each element.
Next, we'll create an axial part for the gear. This will be put into the assembly uh, along with the gear afterwards. If you don't create a variable for the dimension prior, it will prompt you to create a new one. I have created a separate variable table for this axle uh, which will be used later in the assembly. You have to define the mating options for this part prior to inserting into assembly as well. Create a new assembly and insert the components. It will prompt you to select previously defined parameters for the part. When you insert a second component into the assembly. It will remember your uh, mating options that you defined prior. 
you just need to uh, define the points where they will contact. You can edit a part in assembly by opening it at the menu at the bottom left. Any part that you edit can be saved and regenerated with the new changes in the assembly. Go back to assembly, you can regenerate the assembly by the lightning icon on the right toolbar. To create a drawing, you can create directly from the assembly. It has a predetermined template. Set the views left, top, right, or bottom. You can create dimensions using the line dimension or point dimension tool at the top. You can create a center line as reference using the tool at the top. That is all. Thanks for watching.